good morning guys i hope everyone is doing great welcome back to our channel so today in this video we are going to share java developer interview questions that were asked at cmm naval phi company and this video was shared by one of our subscriber friend and in this video we are going to talk about like the questions that were asked to him were on core java spring boot microservices and coding so here is the mail from our friend sai shankar who has shared our shared this interview like his interview questions that he has encountered he although he kept the company name as confidential but he has shared us the question so you can see the mail software developer 3.5 years of experience and the package is whooping 25 lakhs per hour and that too it is fixed hi team i'm glad to inform that i have been offered a cities as mentioned above with the same level 5 company below are the questions i encountered during various rounds of interview so the questions are divided into different sections like coding java microservices so let us see what were asked so basic questions or common questions in all the rounds so these are the mandatory interview questions in respect of, of your experience or in respect of your technical stack so those questions are like explaining about the project like current project what you are working explaining about your roles and responsibilities in your in your project or what is your day to day activity that you do tech stack related questions that you have mentioned on your resume and domain or like domain which domain you get whether you are in from healthcare domain or you are from retail or you are from banking domain so do the domain specific questions get like few like not in deep but there are scenarios that you may encounter the domain specific questions as well so he has encountered these four questions in all the rounds so whenever you are preparing for an interview please do prepare on your project architecture that is your current project architecture your technical stack that you are mentioning on your resume and domain or business based questions please do expect this also and roles and responsibilities as well so the next section of questions are typical java based questions so here are the 10 questions that he has shared with us so oops concept solid principles association versus composition versus aggregation so basically it co covers most of the thing and i hope this was in deep discussion as well inheritance based code snippets some tricky child reference parent reference based questions overriding questions and etc jvm architecture so there were questions of jvm architecture follows with class loaders so obviously whenever there is a question on jvm definitely there will be a question on class loaders as well exceptions in project i worked on global and local exception handling follow ups like exceptions in overriding how like whatever uh things you can apply there like what exceptions you can override parent child exception relationships and all those things immutable classes and benefits or and disadvantages of immutable classes so this was the fifth question collections framework hash map concurrent hash map linked list versus array list so almost like all the major collections what we use here uh is discussed was like questions were asked on those things and this is from all the rounds what are the questions that has been shared java 8 features streams all operations and functional interfaces so in deep there would have been a discussion on java 8 features why functional programming like we have to give the advan uh, what advantage we do get while using functional interface function sorry when we are going approaching the functional programming serialization and marker interface concepts so theoretical questions on serialization and marker interfaces i i hope that that we asked here spring boot advantages like what all spring boot advantages you can you know you can list it out so these were the question 10 questions that were asked from typical java based questions and before getting into the next section let us have a look on the platform which provides the jobs and that platform is none other than relevel in the past few days you have been hearing about relevel test and some of you have registered the test and some of you have told me that you haven't registered for the test because of multiple reasons i have some exciting news for every one of you relevel has launched two new tests in the domain business analyst roles data and data analyst roles they have some amazing companies on board with the package of up to 22 lakhs per annum uh sign up on the platform today to check out all the companies like trade up gratis app yatra etc that are using relevel platform to hire for their companies you can even try out free sample papers to access your skills for the test you just need 150 marks in the first phase to qualify for the second phase after the second phase a 700 plus scores lands you in the interview 
job opportunities are some amazing relevant swags relevant tests are free of course with no hidden charges no mon monetary and terms and conditions once you qualify for the relevant test you have to access you have access to 1000 plus jobs across top companies a guaranteed package for more than 4 lakhs for non tech guys and 6 lakhs per annum for the tech roles there is no age age or experience limit eligibility if you are 18 plus you can attempt the relevant test to get in get a 50% hike place your next job to the product based company you search for finding the right job ends now with the relevant now you can register for relevant test in just five step sign up on relevant.com select the type of test of your choice whether you want to front end back end or business select a date and book a slot when you want to give the relevant test slots are limited so i suggest book it as fast that's it all rounds of tests will be completed in a single day you can and your scores will be published on the same day itself once you qualify in the relevant test based on the score you get to create your amazing relevant profile with which will then be shared to the companies for further processes. Sit back and sit back and relax. Companies will reach out to you based on your profile. The com the better your real level score, the more companies will reach to use. So what are you waiting for? Register for the real level test today. And if you are someone who haven't heard about real level, here are the few benefits of participation in real level test. Over 50 plus companies include talk startups and unicorns like Credit Upgrade, Razorpay, Urban Company, and many more hired through real level. Thousand plus job opposition across business development, front end development, and back end development completely online and can be taken from comfort of your home. The best part is that you can take it for free. Finish your test in a single day, your choice, and get your real level score. Once you clear the test with the qualifying score, you will be able to create an amazing candidate profile that will help. You showcase your skills and stand out of the crowd and some of the standards out always noticed by the companies. To get relevant profile, candidate has to score more than 700 in the test, which will be the qualifying criteria. The candidates can take the test after 30 days if they didn't meet the qualifying criteria. Also, the candidates will be re rewarded with the ex exciting goodies like MacBook, iPhone, and many more for the highest rank holders in the relevant test. With Relever, you are unique position to invite interest from the companies instead of hunting for the opportunities on your own. Once you have the great score, you will sit back and relax. The companies will reach out. You can check the job pages mentioned in the video description to know more about the company hiring. The tests are ideal for candidates who are 18 plus or have less than 3 years of experience. You, you should be able to also join within the 30 days from receiving the offer. These jobs are not limited to B.Tech or MBA degrees. Candidates, anyone can apply as long as they are 18 plus or have less than Three years of experience so that was about the real level let us continue with our question so the next section was not so common questions design an abstract class sorry design an abstract load balancer types of blocks difference between re-entrant and synchronized blocks can the main method be synchronized follow up on synchronization class level and block level or method object level volatile keyword uh, write a code to demonstrate a deadlock follow-ups like race condition in multi-threading double locking singleton design pattern blocking cues and what would be the output of the given line and uh, next if if using a custom object as a key in hash map, considerations changes in the custom object and reasons why would you do them answer make it immutable and implement equals and hash code just we need to uh, override equals and uh, hand hash code to make it as a key like any custom class to make it as a key because if at all we are not doing the contract between the equals and hash code method breaks and it there are high chances that it won't work as expected how spring boot configuration works internally hint meta and the end of spring factory conditional beans annotations okay fine so you have to give a brief uh, answer on this how it works internally the configuration thing what are generics and the performance implications hint type erasers is it mandatory to make the class final if making a custom immutable class reasons why yes or no so it's up to you uh, decide why like is it mandatory to make a class final if a class is like a, if a class is uh, if a class if a, we are making a class as an immutable class what are the possible scopes of access modifiers for an overridden method in child class so it cannot it can so it can degrade the scope but it cannot enhance the scope here and coming to the 14th question so it was like what would be the output of the code here 
and come to 15 question question what happens if you modify the value of an element in a list while iterating using iterator so nothing will happen iterator iterator don't throw an exception because it works on the copy so these were the questions typical questions from the section then the next section are coding questions so write a program to group anagrams write a program to shift all the zeros at the front followed by all ones this is one line code actually you can initiate the array and wherever the zero is not present you just need, don't need to insert anything find the nth node from last and linked list constant is size can't be found oh super this is actually challenging write a program to find the max length of palindrome substring in a string dynamic programming indeed challenging if you don't know this is uh, if you practice this is uh, this is one of the important i can say like important questions <laughs> because a lot of times we encounter this if at all you are an experienced candidate you will definitely encounter this type of this question like max length of palindrome substring in a string given string find the kth smallest element in an array without sorting it hint use max heap priority queues yeah there are different ways to find this yeah one of the ways heap priority queue so these were the coding questions and this is a section where we can discuss about microservice specific interview questions and this is the nine questions that are from microservices so advantages and disadvantages of microservices assure cloud resource related questions blobs functional apps logic app as i worked on them while explaining the architecture we opted how would you roll back all changes in a scenario of services calling and something going wrong among them like a is calling b b is calling c and we can uh, there are different ways but saga is uh, most uh, preferred these days so if you have worked on uh, microservices architecture you will definitely know about what is saga integration so how saga works you have to explain that how would you design an application to send emails to all clients customers on a specific day so there are different ways again it depends on your architecture design patterns in micro services so what are design patterns that have been used in micro services caching related questions as i have used some so you can this is again like depends upon your project your project using caching mostly like 99% projects will use caching so this question can be asked circuit breaker implementation so have to explain about the implementation like what issue it resolves as well when would you suggest someone not to go for microservice arch architecture also what he said is i said it depends on the budget they can invest and scale up application as smaller ones can be better architect monolithically you may answer differently yes most of the things like if at all the application is small and if it, you can maintain it monolithically there security across the application in a distributed network so like we use oauth here in our application in our microservice application it depends on our getting up on your application so these were the questions so here is a complete mail you can see so you can halt for a moment and you can go through the mail so i think i have missed one question here what happens if equals is not there and hash code is implemented for hash map so that questions i have missed so this is a big mail so this is the complete mail and note here not sharing the recordings as they are too long to be heard that's it hope this helps you in getting the job you wanted okay thank you sai krishna for sai shankar for sharing your interview questions this might i feel this will definitely help at least few so that's it guys that's it from this video and if you are on our channel for the first time and if you are wondering who are we and what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our real time interview experiences through these videos and if you have wondering what what are the company name that are getting printed on your screen so these companies we have already shared the interview experience interview experiences or interview questions you can visit our channel and take look on this as well and you can get benefit out of it so if you want to share your interview experience you can email us at the email id that is there in the description so if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe like 
share and provide the feedback i would request to please do share this to other technical platforms as well so that it might help someone who is looking out for a similar kind of videos and it might help him in cracking his interview and thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and you get succeeded in your life